looks like to begin the check-in process, we have to park in self-parking right away. There's nowhere else to park a car. Let's head on in the parking garage real quick. There is already some confusion. I don't know what's going on here. Someone's uh, coming out of the garage, didn't mean to go in here. Interesting start to her stay here. Parking was pretty interesting. You do have to pay overnight. I feel like some people were just coming here to see if they could park for free and they like turned around and they didn't want to park anymore. But welcome back to your daily dose and welcome to Universal Sapphire Falls, everybody. Level two elevator down to lobby, resort lobby, registration. Okay, take the elevator down. Ooh, it's a nice elevator for a parking garage. Hello, fancy mayor. <laughs> you know what we gotta do? We always gotta do the mirror dance. The mirror dance? I don't know, I don't know. Here we go. Today we are at a, another Universal Studios Orlando Resort. We're gonna be here at Sapphire Falls. I've never been here before and I heard it's absolutely beautiful. It's actually a preferred hotel at Universal. There's different tiers, kind of similar to Disney with the value, moderate, deluxe. They have uh, value, prime value, preferred, and then a premium. So we've obviously tackled Endless Summer Dockside, that was the Valor Resort at Universal, and then we are just here at Aventura, the Prime Value Resort, and now we're going across the bay over here to Sapphire Falls, which is going to be a preferred resort here at Universal. It's gonna be very interesting to see the different ac accommodations that they have uh, at a preferred versus the value and the prime value. Um, I can already tell one difference, they have valet here at Sapphire Falls. So there's a nice McLaren parked outside a nice like two hundred thousand dollar car love to see that but it's a uh, time for us to check in let's see what this is all about there's a beautiful beautiful pool here i think it's actually the biggest on property here at universal orlando uh, resort sapphire falls is themed to the caribbean so welcome to the caribbean everybody this caribbean themed hotel sapphire falls is about 148 dollars a night here so it's actually pretty inexpensive for a uh, preferred hotel, I mean, $148, I feel like it's a steal, especially with such a nice resort this is. There's about a thousand rooms, 83 suites. Um, there's valet. Uh, parking, I believe, per night is about $26, and valet it's gonna cost around $33. I can already see the lobby, and it looks actually ginormous, like wide open. Look at this. Holy cow. This is huge. <laughs> I would like my living room to be this big. This is incredible. Holy cow. Oh, you can actually see Islands of Adventure too. Look at those windows. This lobby is massive. I love the wide openness of it. There's so much going on here. Wow, oh wow. Check-in's gonna be over here to the left, but this is absolutely incredible. Sheesh. This is, uh nice invitation to come on in here oh what the heck where does this lead to whoa dude it's like rum barrels and everything this reminds me of something out of the caribbean hence uh, the theming of the whole hotel wow i was just gonna go to the back over here to show you guys the windows because these windows remind me of the ones at animal kingdom lodge the jumbo house this one's got a just as good as view. I mean, you have Islands of Adventure over there. Definitely a statement once you come on here into the lobby. It smells great too. It smells amazing. The pool is popping. This is the biggest pool on property. Oh my, there are so many people here. Big difference from Adventure where we just stayed at. Oh, there's cabanas as well. There's bars. Lots of people at this pool. All right, let's go actually check in. Hopefully our room's ready by now because I did show up a little bit earlier. It's uh, 2.30. Check-in's technically not until, until 4 o'clock, but we have been having some good luck with these universal stays and the rooms have been ready pretty uh, darn to and early. Hello. Hi, I'm just checking in. Uh, Palo P. Every time I show up early to a universal hotel, I swear they always have a room ready for us. We got a two uh, queen room a pool view. It's on the sixth floor, so we're gonna have a cool view of, uh, of the pool. I do wanna head up to our room real quick. Um, most of the places to eat are actually right here in the lobby, the Strongwater Tavern, which I think I'm gonna eat tonight. It opens at 5 p.m. till 12. 
So pretty much everything is open here, which is super duper nice. And there's a lot more people here than uh, we have seen at Dockside Endless Summer and Aventura. We're gonna head this way to our room. There's two different views you can get while staying here. You can have a lagoon view. I elected not to receive that one. And you can obviously have the pool, which you guys are about to see, but see that water taxi? You can actually take the water taxi to uh, the Universal Studios parks. So obviously Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. So far I can just tell that the theming is on another level compared to uh, the Prime Value and the Valley Resorts. This is uh, pretty darn nice. It's a nice carpet, it smells really nice. There's so much space here. Look at this. This is incredible. I can't believe how many people are out there though. It feels like this is like the go-to resort to stay at at Universal. Look at these, look at this view. Huh. All right, ah, oh, look at that. Another mirror. <laughs> these elevators are nice. There's where we just stayed. Here's where we're staying now. Ooh, Cabana Bay is actually right across the street. This is our resort. It's not as big as I thought it actually was going to be. Okay, the best adventure now, trying to find our room. Ooh, there goes the water taxi. Look at these views, man. Ah. We didn't have to walk far at all. Our room is right here. The elevators are down over there. We lucked on out. I love it. Look at the theming too. It's got some cool little lights outside, but let's check out our uh, two queen bedroom here. Pool view. I want you guys to keep in mind this bedroom that you're about to see, it's a two queen bedroom, a hundred and I think $36, $140 for me for one night. It usually runs around 180 to, to about 200, but I love Universal Resorts. They're absolutely amazing. Check this out, look at the floor that we're standing on. It's very cool. I'm gonna wait to the bat to show you guys the bathroom last because the bathroom is, it's, it's something else. Right as you step on it, you've got this nice tile, blue tile design. It's pretty Caribbean. Got a nice mirror again. The bathroom is gonna be to the left. I'm not gonna show you guys the bathroom. Right here to the right, we have our storage, your ironing board, your hangers, a nice pretty big closet, uh, decent size, and your safe is also in there as well. I can't believe this was $140 a night. I cannot believe this. Here's our uh, two queen bedroom. A very cool headboard, these beautiful queen size beds, nice little sunset pillow on both beds. The colors fit perfectly, obviously, with the Caribbean vibe. This is $140 a night. We do only have two outlets, but there is also two uh, USB ports. Oh, there's actually plenty of outlets. I always find some more just sitting around and whatnot. The Universal knows how to make nice looking, affordable hotel rooms at that. This was actually built in 2016, so it's it's kind of a, a little older hotel. Obviously, it's only five years old, but for it being five years old, look at what you guys get. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, they're comfy. Oh, man. We're in trouble. I will say the reason why I've been showing you all a lot of Universal Hotels is because I kind of just discovered how inexpensive they really are and how much space, how nice it is, how much you get for uh, the bang for your buck. Like this is seriously incredible. I, I feel like it's one of the biggest, biggest biggest hacks down here. I mean, also do keep in mind, uh, the prices probably will fluctuate during the seasons. Obviously, you know, uh, during holidays, prices will go on up. But if you're coming here for the summer, I think this was the price for the whole summer, about 180 to $200 for this beautiful two queen pool view room. Got our end table here, probably the Bible. Oh, there's no Bible in there. Interesting, interesting. Our phone, an alarm clock with an Apple charging lightning cord there. There's lots of plugins, so don't need to worry about that. Got some nice little lamps there to light you guys up at night. Here's where I will be editing your video that you're watching right now. Very nice chair. <laughs> That's a nice chair. Also another chair over in the corner. Very uh, Caribbean beach vibes with that picture obviously it's also a really good tv lg that's not messing around tons of space here for your dresser let's see oh okay you know there looks like there's gonna be six of them where's our fridge this is our fridge just kidding there's only four storages for uh, you guys if you guys use that um and our midgy mini fridge yeah they're nice very nice 
a good idea of how much space there is from the wall to the beds. You do have a lot, not a lot of space, but it's better than a lot of the value and the prime value that we've seen. There's, there's room, there is room, but let's go to the best part about this room, and that's the bathroom. A look at your sink area, and they did actually ask me if I wanted a bathtub or a shower. Look at this mirror, what the heck? This is incredible. <laughs> they asked me if I wanted a bathtub, and I was like, no, I want a shower. I want a shower, so it does look like you can get the choice of it. What is this? Oh, <gasps> what? Did you guys see that? Did you see that? You can turn a light. Oh, there's different functions of the light. Different brightnesses. The next one's probably gonna turn it off. Yeah, there's three brightness. I've never seen actually a mirror that does that before. How incredible. You know what else is incredible? What's on the other side of this slow, <laughs> this sliding door? Wait till you see this. Wait till you see this. Okay, look. At the shower! Look at the shower! What the actual heck? $140 a night gets you this nice, amazing shower. The only shower I've seen similar to this was as uh, the Grand Floridian. You know how much the Grand Floridian costs you? Like $500 a night. But theirs is a little bit larger, but uh, you get a seat in your shower. And of course, a nice door. Way better than a curtain, you guys already know that. Incredible, there's your toilet. I don't know, blown away, blown away. There's a seat in the shower, $140 a night. What is this? I always judge rooms on the, on, on the shower and this shower has got my vote. It's got my vote. But what's most importantly is, what do you guys think? Do you guys like this room? Keep in mind, $140 a night with an annual pass discount. Usually it's gonna be about 180, um, but Comment down below. Okay, <laughs> I'm sort of kind of speechless, but let's kind of talk about what this resort kind of has to offer. Obviously we have the biggest pool on property, uh, Universal Orlando property, I think I mentioned that already. We have our first sit down restaurant that we've seen so far this week. Obviously we were just staying at a Valley and Prime Value, so they don't offer that sit down restaurant that we have here. I believe there's one of them. We have a water taxi that can take us right on over to uh, Universal. You can walk. I uh, kind of suggest taking a bus or taking that water taxi because the walk is gonna be anywhere from about a 20 to a 25 minute walk. Um, I'm excited to just kind of stay here and, and chill. This room is just blowing me away. Uh, <laughs> the shower, the shower guys. Shower is incredible. Been sitting here editing. The only reason why I would think some of you would not want to have this pool view is you can kind of hear the music, but it's not loud at all. So a quieter view, definitely the lagoon side over there. You can hear the thumping, but trust me, it's not bad. You know, just if you don't want to hear that, maybe book a lagoon view instead of a pool. I just think it's always cool that pool view. I spent too much time here. Uh, let's go explore. See what I mean just by looking at this hotel with all the details and whatnot, you can just totally tell this is a preferred resort and it's not a prime or a valley resort at that. Even though the prime value and the valley resorts are still just top notch, you can totally tell though that there's a lot more details at Sapphire Falls. We've got a really big gym here for the hotel size. This is very, very nice. State of the art, this is probably the biggest gym that I've actually seen at a hotel. Very big. Across from the gym, we have the Calypso Arcade. Fairly decent prices. Looks like 30 credits is $5. Um, kind of a small arcade, but you can huh, definitely have a lot of fun in here. Again, no really prizes at all. Just uh, games. Never been to Napa Valley, but this feels like something that would be in that Napa Valley. This is so fancy, holy cow. This is beautiful. This is gonna lead us up right on into the lobby. The pool and the arcade is right on over there. The lobby's up here. Of course, we've got a universal store right here in the lobby, but we don't actually have a Starbucks. We have the New Dutch Trading Company, and that's gonna be your form of the Starbucks, but you can always go over to Aventura if you guys want to get Starbucks, but this is the equivalent of Starbucks. It's a coffee shop, drink shop. Looks like there's also gonna be uh, pantry options here. You got your breakfast sandwiches, hot sandwiches, all day, and ice cream as well. So these are kind of like your quick grab and go right here by the lobby. All day breakfast, I kinda like that. I kinda like that. I'm here actually with my buddy Frank. We're gonna go get something to eat here real quick at the sit down. It opens at five, do you know what time it is? 
I think it's five. Five o'clock. Five, it's five o'clock. Let's go eat. Some of you guys might know him from years in the past. We uh, used to do a CP together, but this is Strong Water, so this is going to be their lobby bar. I thought this was actually their sit-down restaurant. However, their sit-down restaurant is actually downstairs. And unfortunately, they're not open on Sunday nights, which is tonight, or Monday nights, but they do serve breakfast. But this is the best we could do for a sit-down, the Strong Water, which is technically kind of like a sit-down. It's got a lot of seats. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Whoop. This is the Cayman Island iced tea. It's similar to a Long Island. It's got a different twist to it, but it's a chugger. Oh yeah, definitely. All right, everybody, welcome to Sapphire Falls. This is the largest pool on Universal property that I've said a million times, but it's beautiful. The details, we've got a nice rock wall water slide. There's a fire pit, there's a hot tub, there's cabanas that I'm pretty sure cost a uh, pretty penny, but what do you say we get a drink and then head on in here? It's pretty crowded. It's pretty crowded, but it's definitely a party atmosphere at that. It's a nice pool, beautiful Caribbean pool. Before we hop into the pool, let's grab another drink here at the outside bar. Hopefully they're open, it's right by the hot tub. Yes, they are open. We're uh, watching the updates right now about the hurricane in Louisiana, so uh, prayers go out to everybody in Louisiana. This is a bad hurricane. Category five, or sorry, four. Pretty uh, pretty scary stuff there. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Eat. All right. Mm. The outside bar was uh, kind of expensive. They automatically add 18% gratuity. This uh, drink was $20. So uh, the inside bar was actually a lot cheaper. I don't know if they just charge more because it's an outside bar. I don't know, kind of expensive. I'm pretty sure we can go in the pool with these drinks because they're plastic cups that they gave us. So I think we're going to go in the pool. And it's kind of died down. It's dinner time. So good for us. Let's see if I get yelled at. That's the only way we know. Oh, she has it too. We're good. We're good to bring these in here. Good to know. Is it warm? Ooh, it's not bad. I want to go down that slide. There's like a river on each side. It's a waterfall. Pretty cool. I agree. Frank, I need you to uh, watch that drink while I go down the slide, okay? Check out this slide. I love the rock work. It looks so cool. It's not the longest slide, but I mean, I feel like the rocks just make it look even cooler. This is pretty rad. Woo -hoo! Okay, pick it up speed, pick it up speed. Here we go. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> That was fun. I wish it was a little bit faster. Not the worst slide, not the best slide. It's, 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 it's an average slide. I really like the waterfalls. Pretty. Oh, with the sun in the background, the sunset coming. Let's go. We got it. We got it. There's no music underwater like we've seen at Endless Summer. And Hard Rock, there's music as well. That's what Frank just told me. Really still can't believe that this drink right here was uh, $20. So possibly maybe bring your own drinks. That's so expensive. Oh man, I totally forgot. The cool thing about this pool is that you can just walk right through the middle. Like it's it's shallow, gets deep over there, gets deep over here. It's not the warmest pool, but it is heated, which is great. That's great. It's not as warm as Dockside that we were staying at Endless Summer over there. That was a little bit warmer. Still nice though, still nice. Frank is coming back with some towels. <laughs> I think the only towel station is over there where you're picking up, they're, they're free. All right, everybody, um, Kyle just made an oopsie. Um, accidentally, I actually just deleted all of the footage that we did to get over to City Walk. Don't ask me how I did it. I did it because like my space was full, so I had to delete videos and over the influence, Kyle deleted everything. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> well, it took over about like 10 to 15 minutes to walk over from here, Sapphire Falls, over to City Walk. It was a, it was a good night until I deleted the footage because I'm really dumb and I apologize. It was just us uh, drinking at Margaritaville, having a great time, meeting a couple of you guys, and I'm so so sorry uh, to those that I met. Real quick shout out to uh, my DVC points over on my Patreon and Bill Helson. Awesome Thank you guy. so much. Yeah, you're an awesome guy, man. Um, sorry guys, I, I'm an idiot. I can't believe I deleted everything. It's been a fun night. Yes. It's been a good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and that was your uh, daily dose.
Peace out. I feel bad for the people we just met too.